Written by Dr. Yasim Ayaviv. Research data. IST professions have evolved significantly from document processing to the evaluation of information or its analysis to support scientific strategy. This article bears witness to the path the IST function has taken to take action on research data and gradually gain legitimacy. A conference repositioning research data publication, images, videos, and above all highlighted the role that librarians must have. By curating data as close to the scientific community as possible, INRA stunned an audience of librarians. Why this confusion? We can suggest three reasons. Documentaries increasingly distanced themselves from the research process. Data object, observation data, images from DNA sequences, video, etc. became difficult to define. They struggled to define what data curation meant. In the years that followed, all lectures or readings on the management of research data took on a different dimension. In particular, reports mentioning new professions such as data scientist, data librarian, data manager were restrictive. The missions, activities, or skills of the documentarians did not allow them to project themselves into these new professions. Research data has re-examined the function of SDIs. However, this time it was not possible to avoid the issue. INI's Scientific Council launched a research management and sharing exercise under the impetus of the challenged institute president. The data sharing policy of one of the British research funding institutions was examined in detail. Basic business legitimacy and skills. Positioning IST from the very beginning to data curation very quickly had two consequences. Determining the added value of librarians in a digital science environment will be difficult. Second, a strategic error has arisen regarding comparative use. There were also librarians who still had doubts about their ability to manage data. This lack, perceived or experienced, right or wrong, was a real obstacle for STI professionals to take action on data management or sharing. Therefore, it was necessary to reconsider their skills in three areas to determine what could reinforce this situation, open access, scholarly publishing, documentation. Open access provides librarians with several ports to think about opening data. The Berlin Declaration states that this data should be open access in the same way as publications. Open access contributions include original scientific research results, raw data and metadata, source materials, digital representations of pictorial and graphic materials, and scientific multimedia materials. In addition, Tools such as DSpace are used to manage data warehouses such as Dryad, which contains data sets related to articles published in newspapers. The legal issues underlying open access have encouraged librarians to better understand the law and tools like Creative Commons. Thus, in free access to the BTI movement, we find both a political framework and technical or legal tools that prepare librarians for data sharing issues. Publishers have paid particular attention to data in recent years. The Data Citation series is initiated to count citations on repositories, datasets, and data studies. Few journals require access to data during the review process of articles. This data then becomes supplementary material on the journal's website or is stored in thematic repositories with a link to the publication. In this way, new types of magazines are emerging. These journals are mostly data journals that describe and publish datasets. All these initiatives are challenging STI professionals. Let's formalize a few questions. Should there be intermediaries between those who produce scientific data and those who use these data? If so, what are they? Do publishers and producer organizations have mediators within each scientific community? More concretely, what is the publisher's policy regarding data? Are there any bad apps that might tend to limit access? How to cite data and its producers? What data retention strategy should be used to ensure long-term access? How are the data evaluated? Is this a new research product that should be considered by review commissions? Should the published data be kept in institutional archives containing scientific articles or in specific archives? How to reference in data citation index. 
The need to make data reusable by others requires librarians to invest in a more technical aspect of their profession, metadata, terminological repositories, and interoperability, etc. People hired in the Documentary Information System Manager profile with dual IT documentation skills have all the knowledge to work on data warehouse projects. Mastering semantic network techniques is an additional asset. Written by Dr. Yasim Ayavith, 